That is not who I wanted to pick. Hello, the dark dragon of the north. This is one of the worst gods in Duel. He's right there, D tier next to Capri, but... Um... Work you in late, and maybe Master Baker will be forgiving. I see a Diamond Border aims with you, so I don't know. But this card is very fun to play. He can outbox his opponent if you go Warrior's Blessing, but then you can never take the tower. So what I always do is I go Hunter's Blessing, but we're against AMC. And now AMC, if I don't go Warrior's Blessing, I'm going to get annihilated by him. So we're going to do this new strat, all right? This is a new strat. I'm combining two pro strategies on... Yorm, okay? The first strategy is go Hunter's Blessing and basically lose the game until you get a kill and then you can actually push. The second strategy is get Frenzy because Frenzy increases damage on objectives and gives me attack speed, which will kind of help. You know? So, we got that going for us. Uh, yeah, so... Again, the reason why Yorm is so bad is because of object his objective push is non-existent. He can't really take Bold Demon like and secure it well because of how long his animation is for his bellow his bellow and also most importantly uh he can't build polynomicon it just does not work also we are doing good this way i'm a pop frenzy we're we're shredding this man this man is getting shredded he does have a uh, does have shell but i'm just gonna all in him honestly I'm going to all in this man and hope to get a kill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, please. <gasps> no, no. Wait, he's staying. He's staying. Yes, please stay. Please stay. I beg of you to stay. All right, all right. We are using all of our potions. He is as well. But this is the strat, all right? Also, Yorm gets countered hard by uh, Warrior's Blessing. But AMC didn't go Warrior's Blessing, now did he? So that's good for me. Alright, alright. Understandable. How many mana potions? He has one more mana potion left. I'm on my last potions here. Is he going back? No, no, no. We can use our... Our warrior's blessing to kind of deal with it though. Should use that potion a lot earlier. Nope. Oh, this is this is not good because we're against an AMC that has a diamond border. And he's backing right away, so I can't even kill my red buff. Alright. I don't think the frenzy's gonna work. Cause it's like you're not even fighting your opponent. You're fighting the objective. It is the real thing with your arm. Killing your opponent's one thing, but you could be like 5-0 and, and still lose a game as Yorm. I've lost, I've lost as Yorm, not dying once. I killed my opponent, like, so many times. Didn't even die once, and I lost the game because, you know, you just can't, can't deal with objectives, you know? Can't secure Bull Demon. So if your opponent can secure Bull Demon, they go for it. It's not too much you can do. I guess you can kind of steal it, but again, it just, it's just only when your opponent did not save anything for it. Any extra farm I can get to kind of keep us neck and neck with this AMC. You got Transcendence first item. At least it's not Warrior's Blessing. Did you not take Red Buff? Dude, I would have taken it way earlier if you had it. Nice. I'm an ult out. You have fun with that, whatever you're doing there. Wait, can I actually kill? Dude, I can kill. Oh my god! I have never hit that much stuff with my ult in duel before. Or actually I have, but not that effectively in the, this early of the game. 558 damage for my ult. That was nice positioning, those tight corners. Because not only did he take the emerge damage, the slam damage, but he also took the body slam damage. Because your, arm, your arm's ult hits three times. When you come out of the ground, when you go back into the ground, and then when your body slams in between uh, all of the damage between the point A to point B. So hey, that worked out pretty nice. I believe we're gonna go pen choose. Again, the only reason we're still in this match is because this AMC uh, is either being nice to us, like being like, all right, I'll give you a chance, or he doesn't know how hard Warrior's Blessing counters Yorm. Like, 
I am pretty honest about these kinds of things. So if you go against the AMC Heroes Warriors Blessing, you're going to have a much harder time than I am. Alright, let's see. We're neck and neck right now. Yeah, you missed. Got a shell. Nice, nice. With Bancrofts, we are doing a lot more damage, which is always good. Do as much damage to Titan here as we can. Or not Titan, uh, Tower. Our ult's up in eight, seven seconds. If we can keep him here, I'm pretty sure I can ult and kill him. We'll see. We'll see. I do not have boots, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Oh no. Okay, I can use my two though. Nice. Please just don't let me die, I'm dead. Even if I pop that potion right when I landed, there's no way. <sighs> That's not worth. If you die second, it's not worth because what happens is when they when you kill them, you get more gold. Uh, so now you have more gold than what you had before you died and when they kill you because there's a higher gold deficit uh, between both of you or lower gold deficit if you're behind they uh, they get a much bigger bounty than you do it's a very slight thing that I noticed a lot of people don't talk about but I do think it's kind of important if you trade and you were second to die it's not worth it most of the time especially if you're ahead if you're behind then yeah it was, it was worth it but I wasn't very far behind. Okay, we're gonna back up just to force him to pick up the stinger. Then we're gonna bait him with frenzy, I think. Oh, he's not gonna pick up the stinger. All right, that's fine too. That's worth free ultimate. Okay, I was even standing there. Unfortunately, my pool ran out right then and there. Without, without a hive, he can't do too much here. I might be able to kill him actually. Like, he doesn't have an alt here. There's no surprises. But I'm between a rock and a hard place. Okay, my ult's up in this eight. Ow. Here's my two. Oh, that just deleted him. That's Bancrofts for you, though. All right, here's, here's where Frenzy comes in play. Give me that increased damage. Plus, I kind of have more attack speed. Oh god, Yorm is so bad. I'm considering going in Emperor's. Okay, we're going to use our thing here to get our pools. We have Empowered Auto Attack, so now our meter doesn't go down. Worth, 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 worth. I am amazed that I did not die. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not even risking staying. Even if we died there, it would have been worth it. Yeah, I think I will get an Emperor's. Because the stronger our Phoenix is, or the stronger our objectives is and weaker his is, the better. But we got to keep wards on Bull Demon then. Because I do have a feeling... No, never mind. I, I was going to say I have a feeling he went for it, but nope. Oh, come on, Yorm. I love the skin, by the way. Look at the clap. He does finger guns at the clap. <laughs> Yorm was going to be my favorite god when he came out, but just I was really disappointed with his uh, objective push and just the fact that he could not build Cold Demon. Pretty sure he's dead here. Why is he staying? Why is he staying? He, could, he had like five chances to get out there. He had like five different chances. I do strongly appreciate that this guy did not go Warriors Blessing AMC, but, you know. So should I really be criticizing him? Alright, we gotta fall pretty far back. Is he coming for me, or what is he doing? Kinda looks like he is coming for me. Or is he just going to go for Bold Demon? I do have my ult ready if I need to do that. 
Because he is not in lane, I'm assuming that he... Okay, never mind. We go thorns or upgrades, sunder or sprint. I'm gonna go sprint because of his slow. Plus, upgrade sprint. You know, we can use our autos while moving, which is pretty nice for chasing him. I will say. I'm guessing you put some hives at uh, Bull Demon. We should go and kill those. Because although we can't really take Bull Demon while he's alive, we can bait him at Bull Demon and then kill him. So I'm, ab I'm about it. By the way, Emperor's Armor is probably the... This is the only time I will build it. On Yorm and maybe Ares. Just because it'll help me when taking his... Like, if I get a kill and I have, like, two minions, it'll help me when taking his Phoenix. It, it buys me so much time for attacking it. So it makes it harder to fight AMC because I could have had a better item. But in terms of fighting, fighting the objective, it's pretty good. Very, very niche item in duel. Right, can we bait him over here? Yeah, we don't really, we're not actually gonna take it. Right, yes. Maybe we will take it. I have four pools right here. I actually took the slime damage. This is not a good fight. We need to run. This is not a good fight, unfortunately. But he's not going for it, right? Or is he? Oh, he is. Come on, he's so close to death. Get him. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Apesy. It's two in the morning, so I have to. I can't even yell in excitement, but that is so good. Oh, I'm getting lucky today. I'm getting lucky today. I just recorded that last Terra game, and we just killed Boldy. Killed AMC at the same time. He's taking Boldy in. All right, here we go. I guess my Emperor's doesn't really help now, right? Oh, you, you're already alive. All right, well, okay, I'm gonna have to use my friends here in a bit. Keeps his hives down and letting my minions do a lot of the damage because my minions do probably more than me. Okay, we're gonna split them into pools. Probably should have popped Frenzy first, but oh well. Speedy Snack. Speedy Snack. Alright. I use both my relics for zero reason, but I don't care because I got Phoenix. Most of the time, if you get Phoenix as your arm, you win the game. So I am super happy about this. This is my first Yorm game recorded tonight too as well. Now, if I were scummy, okay, I would alt past him and go kill Titan. But we are not scummy, all right? We are manly men. We take fights head on. Unless we have to run away. And we run away. Empress is strong here. Oh, look at that damage. Yorm trick? I'm gonna pop out, and he's not gonna expect it. <laughs> I finally got that Yorm trick. Yes. That's a secret trick as Yorm, all right? Don't tell anybody, okay? But if you keep your ultimate in the wall, you just come straight out of the ult. You don't have to do the last hit. Yes. I've been wanting to show that forever, but there's never, ever, ever been a practical use to do that. Right there where he was hiding and waiting to juke and then run away. That was perfect, because he would have never expected me to get out so quick. Oh, I thought I won the game. I was not looking at spawn timer. Oh god. I was not looking at spawn timers. Okay, we're out. Oh, I thought I won the game off that. How upsetting. He is still alive. Okay. Well, we're gonna go back then. I'm just, I'm so excited about that play. Alright. So excited. We are gonna go double defense. I'm Yorm. I don't care. So... The Warrior's Blessing Frenzy kind of did work out. Because I, if it was Warrior's Blessing versus Hunter's Blessing, Hunter's Blessing is better, better for Yorm. All right, it's better because it does work, gives him quite a bit of damage, and it counteracts your opponent's Warrior's Blessing. That's important if they do go Warrior's Blessing. Um, but Warrior's Blessing Frenzy seems to have some merit to it when taking objectives. I haven't been using it too much for objectives, but it has been pretty helpful, I would say. Plus, you don't have to upgrade it like Sunder. You won't, you get the 10% increased damage right away. Uh, 
Okay, so Yorm can do a ton of damage to Titan, even if there's no minions, just by doing this. He can stack a ton of pools, and then when he lands, they all just they all just take Titan down instantly. Perfect. That's a good Yorm game. Uh, I've been wanting to show that Yorm trick since he came out. I've talked about it, but I've never had the chance to actually do it in a real practical situation. There's been times where it's like, I could do the Yorm trick, but it would just be better to use the last tick of the ult. I think that time it was better to use the Yorm trick because it caught him so much off guard and I was guaranteed to get the kill that way. Whereas if I used the ult and missed, he probably would have had enough time to speed on away with his movement speed. So GG, we're almost back to Diamond 2. I am so happy to get a Yorm win, especially with that play. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best, and thank you for all the support.